Hey guys, how we doing today? So, uh, been doing a little testing with this guy. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, I guess I should, like, put it on camera while I'm doing huh? Tried to put a little, uh, put them tops in there just for a little, uh, what do you call that, background contrast. But if you notice it was coming over slow, that's because we don't have uh, nothing across the top of this yet. Um, I got this, this here, he'll be cut in half. Something like this. And then, uh, of course, there will be a hinge along the bottom for a piece to cl close it all the way. And then we'll put something up the top to uh, hold it up when we're working. Um, yeah, I haven't done a lot to it. And it does look like crap, but... Uh, and I know these fans will deteriorate, but, uh, you know, I mean, how many of these do we come across a week? <laughs> ah, so, show you a little bit of what I've been up to. Now, what's sad about this is these, uh, pieces of scrap that's all from today um but i got rid of a lot of the pallets and i'll be getting rid of some more um so i went to work on this guy <clears throat> it does work but it's missing some of the uh pieces on the inside to help push the uh, mulch out so it's off balance so when you start it it's like jumping all over the place um, but they didn't look too bad looks like I can uh, remake them uh, let's see you got me about 200 pounds of aluminum I think by now it's a really nice piece that one and that one. That's from a uh, a wheelchair lift. And then, of course, the uh, rims. I uh, got that radiator the other day off one of the jobs. Got the uh, dumpster sealed up. They're picking that up tomorrow or the day after. Nordic Trek. I come across so much of this equipment. This guy actually uh, worked, had a computer board and stuff on it we took off. But, uh, I mean, you see how dirty that is? I'm not even going to say nothing. <laughs> there's basically the same thing, just a uh, generation before, it looks like. Um, so that's it, guys. I've just been, uh, work, I haven't done any more work on the ball mill. Um, I think I may have found a motor to do it, but it's from a, uh, a hospital bed. And so it goes and then it stops. And you take it back the other way and it goes and then it stops. So I've got to figure out how to get it to where it continuously rolls. 
um, but it's really strong motors. Um, but you know, they're designed to go and stop, go and stop. Um, oh, let's see. Come on. So, you guys show, or I showed you guys that mess where I put uh, gold fingers and gold pens all in the same thing. Well, I finally got all the uh, all the pens to uh, go into solution and release all the filters. So. Uh, what is this September? So six months took six months to do it, but we've got it and Those I mean there was no count. I didn't weigh what I put in. I just threw a whole bunch of stuff together So I'll be putting that with these which uh, Were basically I took a bunch of these and got the uh, foil off from behind it. Um, I think there was probably about 40, uh, 40 P CPU backs with the gold foils in there. So I'm going to take those gold filters, these right here, and then what I have in here which if you can see a few of them gold balls there's some uh gold leaf items in there at least they said they were gold leaf um and then i still have a little bit of gold Year from last year but um, I'm gonna wait until I drop all of that you know I'll put them all of that into a solution once I do the drop then we'll do a second refine with the other gold um, then let's see what else was i going to tell you oh this is just filtered off copper i um i'm gonna hit that with a torch and then i don't know i may send that up to uh eway's mic drop copper um showed you the brass didn't i a few different times so at the end of this video I'm going to show you a video I made of um, me taking apart like a radar detector and stuff like that out of this fume hood. Um, what I did is I put my phone up here facing down in. So basically you guys were looking at that. And uh, you guys can tell me what you think. Uh, I didn't want to... Uh, just put that one out without explaining what it was all about. So that's it, guys. Uh, got Still got work to do on this thing. I'm hoping to have it built by next week. Um, it's time to uh, get started, get this stuff done before the snow comes. <laughs> you guys take care. Mike's out.
not really sure how this video is going to go. This is like, a, I guess, just a test run. Had this guy already done because the outer case was so tore up. I didn't know if the uh, screws would come out or not. So, I don't know how far or whether you guys can even... Well, I know you can see me right now. I just don't know how well. Starting to look pretty. So, cast aluminum, pot metal. Let's see here. So, I basically took today off. I, um, this is really the only type of work I've done all day long. It's a passport radar detector. Looks pretty good in there. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. So... The lights here are controlled by its own IC chip. So we've got one, two, three, four ICs and then a little guy. So radar detectors are pretty good. I used to tear open these switches here, but now most of the time I just sew my boards. Uh, this guy pays uh, $2 a pound, so I'll probably just throw him in with the uh, green boards then. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. Okay, that makes a flat head. I guess I'm not as prepared as I thought I was. Hope you guys are doing well. So yeah, I'm hoping this little box works out for my uh, June hood. It was, uh, I've been trying to figure out an idea for it for a while. What in the world? I don't know. I've never seen that. That's pretty nice. Let's see. Two silver plated some type of pens. I didn't even see these guys. One Two, three gold plate, and four gold, well, oh, silver plate. Now, well, let's put him off to the side, too. Guessing that that's for the radio frequencies.
Uh, let's see. Motorola radios. XDR 3300 and 6300. Let's see. Woke up to rain this morning, so we knew about it last night. Didn't uh, plan on the flea market this weekend, but I guess it would have been nice considering uh, once it was gone, the sun come out and it turned out being a pretty nice day. Guys, I'll tell you what. If I'd have known it was this easy, I'd have taken this thing apart months ago. I just, I throw a lot of the little stuff uh, in the separate containers just to get to later, you know. Okay, he's just the speaker. So, you gotta remember to keep this up and under here. Sorry about that. A little stainless. And then, how do we get you? Trying to make sure I don't scratch one of them dots up. Reminds me of uh, the foil strips off of uh, cell phone boards. There we go. Not too bad at all. Throw it to the side. More trash. All right. Take a look here. More gold plate. Now normally what I do with these guys is I try and deal with these as they come in because in the beginning, <laughs> seven, eight years ago, I was just throwing them all in a pile well, leaving your uh, plastic ribbon wire like this, you can fill up a five-gallon bucket and only have like 40 of these little ribbons. So I go ahead and cut that off, throw this part away here, and just keep the uh, finger, finger foil. Keep them separate from your uh, like regular gold fingers, though. Some people will process them, some will not. Uh, backyard scrapping, just made a good video. Um, now, I don't know how he would feel about high-end equipment like this, or phones, but he definitely doesn't want none of the, uh, uh, what do you call those? Those finger edges from monitors and TVs. Because th there's really nothing there. And I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know. My guess is that these are good. At least these. Because that's part of your charging system. For the radio itself. 
so it's gonna have to be a little bit thicker than your normal stuff And it looks like a cell phone board. Probably as good, if not better, would be my actually, uh, I want to say that's better. Um, I know when you, uh, or when they have Motorola radios at auction, you can't touch them. The prices go so high, but a lot of that's for use also, you know. Uh, let's see. Let's pop up, pop off some of this metal and see what we got. Yeah, I recommend don't doing that or not doing that. That doesn't feel very good. I do it all the time. Probably magnetic. I think this is one of them um, beryllium boards. I really don't know what they're called, but they're not metal. They're some kind of... Uh, um, resin or uh, what's that word on if you cut into it it breaks apart in powders and so I don't touch them anymore but yeah it's a radio board but I can get phone board price for this I know I can Um, kind of difficult remembering and I got the camera on seeing as I'm not holding it been a while since I was able to make a video like this Woohoo! there's the chips so yeah I believe that they would give me phone board price. But then again, you stick it in there and you could get your whole load uh, dropped down on price if they don't like it, you know. Let's see. See what this one's like. I took a few of these. Out. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Well, as usual, Mama says it's time to eat. You guys get to hear it again. So, like I said, if the video turns out, you're watching this. And if it doesn't turn out, you have no clue I even made it. One second. See how it keeps me waiting. Oh, Mama's telling on me. Oh, that's a pretty board. Nice gold plate all over the place on this guy. So, you 
you guys heard it i'm gonna get in here before i get in trouble again <laughs> i'll talk to you guys later mike's out